Slovakian COVID-19 vaccine adverse reaction study shows a 500% surge of incidents reported in the first half of 2021, following the release of the COVID-19 vaccine. So we're going to discuss what is happening here. And so from Trial Site News, I am Adrian, and our episode is starting right now. Investigations into the incidence of severe adverse events and COVID-19 vaccine-related injuries has continued into 2023. In Slovakia, a team of researchers with expertise in clinical pharmacology analyzed data associated with spontaneous reports of suspected adverse reactions post-administration with the COVID-19 vaccines. Now, this study is represented by Stefan Lasson, a corresponding author affiliated with Slovak Medical University and Bratislavia University Hospital, both in Slovakia. Now, he and his colleagues have had their findings published earlier this year in the peer-reviewed journal Frontiers Pharmacology. This study looks into COVID-19 vaccination rates in the Slovak Republic, where the vaccination rate was at 58%, which was well below the target below the World Health Organization's goal of 70%. Now, one of the primary reasons for hesitancy in this Eastern Europe nation was concern about serious adverse events. People were concerned about this. They wanted to know. Thus, the importance of this study is to review the incidence of reported adverse reactions of authorized COVID-19 vaccines, which in Slovakia include Comirnaty or Pfizer, Vaxervia, which is AstraZeneca, and Spikevax from Moderna, registered with the State Institute for Drug Control between January 1st, 2021 and May 31st, 2021. Now, they conducted this retrospective analysis and the researchers report on their first analysis targeting the nation of Slovakia involving the incidence of reported adverse reactions associated with COVID-19 vaccines. Now, while tracking spontaneous adverse events has been difficult given the call for reporting on such events during the study time period, the study authors report a significant increase in such reports, a five-fold increase in vaccine-related incidents in just the first half of 2021. The AstraZeneca shot was associated with the highest rate of suspicious serious adverse events. Now, Lasson and colleagues wrote that during the evaluation period between January 1st of 2021 to May 31st of 2021, 5,763 suspicious adverse reactions were reported to Slovakia authorities. The authors reported a significant increase in the number of suspicious adverse reactions. Of all the reports to authorities during this period, 93% of the incidences were associated with the COVID-19 vaccines. Lasson and his team noted that in comparison of the extent of all adverse reactions, there is clearly a statistically significant difference between all types of vaccines administered at the time. Now, the Slovakia-led study team identified no difference from a statistical standpoint between adverse events reported with mRNA shots from Moderna or Pfizer BioNTech. But, as mentioned, AstraZeneca's Vaxervia is identified with significantly more proportion of suspicious adverse events. Now, this table shows the adverse reactions for all vaccination. Note that 93% of these are associated with COVID-19 vaccine. Now, something else about this graph that we should take note. In 2021, the numbers you're seeing here are only from January to May. And what this means is the total numbers of incidences will most likely be markedly higher. So let's talk about study limitations here. This study is deemed a pilot analysis, and so because of that, it will have some important limitations to the study. Above all, the absence of several data points represents a setback worthy of mention here. The sum of available data from reports of suspected adverse reactions from the SIDC database may differ from the real number of manifested adverse reactions in the Slovak Republic due to the following reasons. First, the low rate of reporting of suspected adverse reactions in clinical practice, primarily by healthcare professionals. Next, the incompleteness of clinical data in reports, meaning gender, accurate identification vaccines, etc. 
Then we have missing data on comorbidities of the enrolled cases, with the exception of fatal adverse reactions where they were actively traced. There was also failure to include invalid reports of adverse reactions and reports sent by marketing authorization holders in the Slovak Republic and the European Union. Then we have incorrect evaluation of the causality of adverse reactions by patients or healthcare professionals. Next, stimulated collection of adverse reactions or even financial motivation of patients due to requests for financial compensation for adverse reactions. And then exact data on the manifestation of adverse reactions in clinical practice can only be obtained in a strictly controlled set of patients, say clinical trial. Now, despite the astronomical surge in reported events, the study authors reminded their readers of the context of the COVID-19 vaccination program. They point out that there was a deadly viral pandemic that led to several million deaths worldwide. Thus, when factoring in this pilot analysis you see, plus international studies and meta-analysis, the authors argue that, quote, COVID-19 has an acceptable short-term safety profile. At the same time, further studies and long-term follow-up at the population level are recommended to further define the safety, especially long-term, and the profile of vaccines against COVID-19. Now, the authors also point out that more research is needed, countering universal acclaim for vaccines across Western media. The Slovakian-based team wrote that safety profile of the relatively recently inter introduced vaccines against SARS-CoV-2 virus still needs to be clarified in a changing environment of a growing target population with a variety of characteristics potentially influencing the outcome. And naturally, we'll be keeping an eye on future studies like this going forward. And that, my friends, will bring our episode to a close once more. As always, thank you so much for joining me on the program today. From Trial Site News, I am Adrian, and I will see you all next time.